Here is our official definition. It says suppose f of x is defined on some interval containing a and notice that's in parentheses but this is important except possibly at a. We don't even have to have the function defined as we saw. There can be a hole there and as long as we're approaching from either side and get closer and closer to it we're not looking at the function value at a just approaching a. So it doesn't need to be defined at a. When x is near a we write the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l. So here is our notation. If we can make the values of f of x arbitrarily close to l by taking x sufficiently close to a on either side of a but not equal to a. So this says that we say that the limit exists and it equals l if need a certain value within a certain range of L so we can get arbitrarily close to L by getting closer and closer and closer to A. These are a couple of notations for this limit. So we saw the first one in that definition and it's read the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l. And another way we can express this same concept is we can say f of x approaches l as x approaches a. And either of these are just simply ways to express that idea that we can get arbitrarily close to l if we get sufficiently close to a. As we look at this one, we want to find two things. We want to find f of 1, so the function value when x is 1, and we find, want to find the limit of the function as x approaches 1. So let's first start by finding f of 1. So essentially that just means when the x is 1, what is the function value? So we're looking right here and we can see that it's 2. So the answer to this one would be 2. In answering the limit question, we want to look at and x equals 1 and we want to see if we approach from either side do we approach the same function value and we do and it's 2 and so the limit there is also 2. Let's look at another one. If we want to find f of 2 we look to where x is 2 and we come find the function value and the function is defined right here and so that is at 5 and so f of 2 equals 5. We're interested in finding the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. We're looking and moving along the function approaching this value of 2. And remember we're not interested in finding the function value when x equals 2. We're interested in the function value as we get closer and closer to 2. And we can see in this case then that that equals 3. So this is an example where the function value is different than the limit. One more, we would like to find the function value at 3. So we come over here at 3 and we see it does not exist. We often write DNE for does not exist. And then we're interested in the limit as x approaches 3. And so I'm looking to approach 3 and as I come from the right or the left, I'm still approaching the same value and so that is 4. So the function value does not exist at 3 but the limit does and that equals 4.